lucky the snow has been white for the past few years. Why is that lucky? Snow is always white. Wrong. In Helavis, it isn't always. Depending on the direction of the wind and what the volcano is up to, volcanic ash can mix in with the snow and turn it gray. There's a volcano nearby? It's actually quite a ways up north, but it's the biggest volcano in all of Midgand. Mount Kilaraus, it's called. And that's where we mine our flamestone. Actually, it's the only place you can mine the stuff. Hmm, Mount Killerous. It's got a nice ring to it. You ever seen a volcano, Velvet? No, and I'm not interested. This is Dial's tail. Did you... did you really kill him? We found him dead in the Lake of Tar. This is all we could bring back. Is that so? You can doubt me all you like, but I brought you the demon's body. Who else can say that? True enough. Good. Get to work on my ship then. I'm afraid we can't. We still need Lady Teresa's permission first. I'm in a hurry. It would be much worse for you if she knew who the real smugglers were. You wouldn't! It's a trade. Repair the ship on the beach and I'll sail away quietly. Very well. I'll find you your shipwrights. We'll see you at the shore. Hey, Velvet. This would be a perfect opportunity for us to upgrade our equipment. How about it? What are you talking about? You don't know? We didn't have anything like that in our village. All the more reason, then. Come on, let's go! Hey! You don't need to be so pushy! That's just how I am. Get used to it. Come on! And that's how it's done. Get it? I suppose. It seems like kind of a hassle. Ah, maybe at first, sure. But once you get it down, it'll be second nature. You'll eventually learn how to maximize your personal strengths through wise upgrading and dismantling. It does seem useful. Right? If you plan to continue your crusade, upgrading may give you the edge you need. Of course, those who are inadequately prepared for battle probably won't end up on the winning side. That's certainly true enough. And hey, if it'll make me stronger, I'm sure I'll figure it out. If it'll help me take him down. Thank you. 
Well, it looks like we'll get the repairs we need. Maybe, but that's only half of our problem. Without a proper crew, we'll wind up shipwrecked again. We don't have time to find one, and we can't hire a ship without permission. We'll just have to do what we can, but we've seen where my sailing skills get us. I'm not forcing you to come. I'll do it alone if I have to. I wonder if there are any free sailors around. Finish this quickly. Shooting star! Deception! Strike! Not even worth my time. Hey, Velvet. Do the demons you kill turn back into humans? Huh? What are you talking about? Remember the demon that attacked us near the coast? When it died, it turned back into a human. Every demon I've killed has stayed a demon. So, I was just wondering what was different. Do demons stay demons when they die? But what about Nico and the villagers I killed? Maybe it's just a case-by-case -case sort of thing. Who cares? A corpse is a corpse, whether it's human or demon. Yeah, I guess being human again doesn't help much if you're already dead. Exactly. All that matters is that the demons I devour make me stronger. Nothing more. She's hopeless. Her keel's busted. 
It'd be faster to build a new ship. Her keel? You could say she's like a man with a broken back. And how in blazes did you end up running aground here? I wouldn't think it possible. If you can't help, that's enough. Go back to town. What now? Do we try to find a new ship? I can't think of anything else. I just hope we have time. O oh, Imperian Inominat, hear my prayer. Blessings and honor unto thee. This frail flesh a sacrifice to be thy foundation. Sister. Oh, Oscar! What brings you here? You, your face! What happened to you? A demon got the better of me. I've been summoned back to the Abbey, but I thought I'd stop by on my way. My... my poor brother. I'm so sorry. There is pain, but I can still fight. The scar will serve to remind me of my inexperience. An underhanded foe, no doubt. No. The demon saps her enemy's strength with her left hand and turns it against them. It was a girl with black hair and eyes full of fire. She poses a threat for even a season to pray to her. Please, take care, dear sister. It was her! Teresa? Understood. I will. Worry not. A failure as minor as this is not the end of the world. To be honest, I came hoping you would cheer me up like that. Well, I do believe I recognize those earrings. Of course. I treasure them dearly. Thank you. They suit you just as well as I thought they would. I must take my leave now. Lady Teresa, we've captured a stowaway. I wasn't stowing away, you twit! I merely boarded without permission! You! You're a collaborator with that demon woman. Where is she? <gasps> Your tortures are useless against the mighty Mugilu! Because I'll spill my guts just fine without him!
now. Not even worth my time. They were nothing. I'll finish this now. Not even worth my time. There was word from the Abbey. They're holding a public execution for a witch who tried to draw demons into the city. Is that so? Sounds like a real nasty character. I'd stay away from the city if I were you. It's a common tactic for Lady Teresa. Threaten one criminal to draw out their allies. Are you saying I'm a criminal? Pot calling the kettle black, isn't it? That's why I'm warning you. Lady Teresa's top class, even among exorcist praetors. I wouldn't think badly of you if you fled. A witch. It has to be Mogilu, huh? It looks like the Abbey is on to us. We'd best assume they've already found the tunnel. No sense trying to buy a ship now. Then don't buy one. Steal it. Steal a ship from Helavis. Just the two of us. We have at least one other on our side. Dial? He said he can navigate. If he joins forces with us, all the better. That could be. But what happens to Mogilu? I suppose that's up to the Abbey.